how big a role does your niche play in the success of your online course? Um, Ooh, that's a, that's a big one. That's a huge one. Um, so I think that right there, a lot of people mess up right there. Like when they start making courses, that's probably the number one thing that messes people up from scaling and stuff. Because one, I think, um, for me, it was easy. Like I'll say with beauty boss, cause beauty boss is the course that we recently scaled to over a million. And the reason we were able to scale it so quickly is because we used YouTube to identify the fact that there was a need, but then we researched the market and there weren't many programs that were actually teaching the information that these people were searching on YouTube. Yeah. Right. And so, um, I think when you can see that there's like this gap of like, and even if there's people putting out content online, like just free content where they're like explaining, oh, this is how you do this. And it's like within a certain niche, but you realize that there's no paid or not a lot of paid content out there that teaches it more in depth. That right there is like a way to know, like this is going to be really lucrative and you're getting in on the front end because there's a lot of stuff that people search all the time, but it's very saturated, you know, like passive income, drop shipping, all those things. Like they're very saturated <laughs> and there's a lot of, you know, courses on those topics, but there are still topics out here that people are really eager to learn about, but there's just like no one really giving a full outline, like step-by-step -step in a paid program. Um, so I think that's the thing, like people need to research that because a lot of times people just think, oh, if people are looking this up and they're eager to learn, then this is great. I should just make a course. But that doesn't mean you're going to be able to, you know, get a good percentage of the market to purchase from you because they're probably already purchasing from someone else. So yeah, it's a, it's a tricky thing, but it takes some research. And um, I love researching on YouTube when it comes to courses, because that's where people go to learn. So whatever you see, you know, booming at the moment, like where a certain topic, you see all these people getting a lot of views just for putting out videos on that topic, then that's where you are. Um, that's where you should kind of lean in and like start digging in and seeing, okay, well, what's going on with this? Why are people taking an interest? And, you know, especially if you know, and you can teach on that topic. And do you find that being more specific with whatever keyword you're talking, like targeting or whatever topic you're looking to create a course on, do you think that helps and gives you that like head and shoulders above everyone else because I think that beauty boss idea that might be what what got you so there are people spending money in that niche but maybe not as many people providing that paid course and giving like the full outline of what they need to know exactly exactly yeah that's exactly what it was and I'll say even outside of just using those key words um it's more so to it really being good about explaining the promise right because even with boss up your brand, you don't even know what that's about or what that means yeah. until I explain it. And that's, so the name of the course is not necessarily super important. Um, and even you explaining um, what the course is about, it's more so explaining what they're going to get out of the course, like the promise. And so we really focus in heavily on that. Um, and that's just a tip for anyone that's even getting into this when you're doing webinars, you're selling whatever, you have to have a list of a few key um, points and like um, key promises that you have to reiterate over and over and over because you want people to really understand that you mean this, like this, this is what they're getting. And so for us, we really emphasize the fact that um, one, it's not expensive to start this beauty brand. Like we're gonna teach you how to do this, but it's not expensive to start. And you don't have to have any prior experience and um, you don't have to have a lot of followers because those are the three things, the three main things that we realized people felt defeated about before even starting. It would prevent them from even starting or going further with it. So um, once we debunk those myths, then people were more open to even receiving all the rest. So a lot of times you need to figure out the objections and what are the key things that someone is looking to achieve and communicate that really focus heavily on that um so with boss up your brand people a lot most of my customers they don't even know what an e-commerce funnel is before coming to me <laughs> so what i do is i focus in on teaching them or i this is the thing a lot of times um if they say that they're looking for more sales or they're looking to get more followers so that they can you know get more sales 
I start by having that conversation and then debunking that and saying, you actually don't need this. You think this is what you need, but you don't actually need this. This is the true solution. And so it's about like redirecting them a lot of times because sometimes people are like researching the wrong things, <laughs> you know? So that's how I approach it.